Hello everyone, my name is Tang. Today I'm gonna make the tutorial how to calculate the glitch from my class student. So let's begin. Go to your work, and this is my work. This is my class. I have 20 students in my class. This is first name, surname, and this is score. I have 5 assignments and 20 score for midterm and 30 score for final exams. We gonna uh, calculate the total score here and calculate the grade here by using this range to calculate the grade. And we will count how many students got any grade here. So the first we have to make the total score of each student. So I gonna start with Imuna first. So go to these sales, make a total score, and then every time that you want uh, to start to use the formula, you have to try equal size. And we're gonna use the sum formula to sum all of her score here. So try sum and then try open bracket and I gonna drag the score that I want to plus it together. So select and drag at least just D6 to J6 is immuna score. So press enter on your keyboard. And this is total score of immuna. So I have to make the total score of every student in my class. Just make it by one click. So you can look at the little dot at the bottom right of your sales. Click and drag it down. And then this is the total score of your student. So easy, right? Okay, the next we will gonna uh, calculate the grade for each student. So the same. Equal sign first and now we're gonna use the other commands we call if. So let's start. Try if and then open bracket. And we will try condition here. So our condition is if the student score is more than 79, they will got A. So the first select the total score of immune arm. 87 so select it it will show the sales and the low is k6 and then try condition if it's more than 79 if it's more than 79 and then use comma if it's true we will gonna try a and then if it's false we will use if command again Market and the same sales K6. If is more than 74, we will try B plus. But if it's false, we will use if command again. So we will make it a loop to calculate the grade A to F. So use if command again. But if it's not, you will got F. You know. So and close the bracket. You will. You can see the color here, so it will not make you confuse how many bracket you have to add. So we are gonna stop to add when it black. Okay, it black now. And then press enter. Immuna got and grade A. And we will do the same as the total score. Just click at the right bottom of your sales and then drag it down. So this is the grade of our student. Wow, my student is so smart. Okay, and next we will gonna count how many students got grade F dog at here. So we're gonna use the next formula. The same try equal sign, and we will use the formula count if. And 
then open the flower backpack. I select the grid here. Okay, and then add the condition. At this here, we're gonna count the F how many students got an F grade. So try F here and then pass enter. So uh, only one student got an F grade that is Li Guang Su. So <laughs> sorry guys. <laughs> and every cell do the same as the first cell. So I'm gonna copy and go to these cells and pass it and chain to dog this is amount of each student got any grade and then we will make the total amount we will do the same as this sale so equal size sum open market and select the sale and then pass enter the total student is 20 maybe you gonna sort it so you can use this command select your data and sort filter and custom sort we will sort the score so it is column K so select K column and we will use the value and sort largest to smallest and then if they have an equal score, we will sort by the name. So this is column B. Select column B and use A to C. And then pass OK. So the score is sort now. And if they have the same score, we will sort it by name. So this is finished. So thank you for watching. Bye.